Greetings! Sekiro Goru here, with a guide on how to beat Lady Butterfly, the cheating old crone of the dream. This footage was actually collated by my inept disciple Throthgar from his Let's Play of the game. So if he can beat this old bag, anybody can. First of all, don't give the old bag a chance to breathe. Run straight for her. Making sure you jump out of the way anytime you see the red kanji symbol. The tactic here is to get right in her private face and unleash as many moves as possible. When you see her trying to fight back, just tap deflect. You don't have to be accurate. If you just keep tapping it, you're bound to parry the art attack or block. The goal here is to try and get her posture bar up. We don't want to try and get rid of all that health. There's too much of it. There's no time. You ever see her do the red kanji attack? Just jump away. Very simple to avoid. Keep up that block. Keep up those defenses. Always jump. When she goes for a kanji attack. She might get a few hits in on you, so make sure you get behind a pillar and heal. But stay in her face. Keep unleashing the attack. If she gets out of it, don't forget to spam the parry button. Eventually you'll pummel her down. Sense the weakness. And then put a sword straight through her heart. <laughs> Unfortunately though, once you take away her first health bar, it's not over. She then disappears and summons forth ghoul midgets. The trick here is to just run in circles to avoid them. Just run around, avoiding them. Don't try and get in there. She'll try and attack you, but if you just run in circles, you can avoid her and the midgets. After a while, she'll make them disappear. But then it's not over. The midgets turn into magical light particles. Run in circles or hide behind a pillar to avoid them. Now it's back to the similar strategy. Keep up the attack. And tap the flat when she manages to get through. This is not going to be as easy as the first form. You can block the magic particle attacks also. Or just jump them. But the goal again is to get her posture bar to maximum. Another useful bit of advice is when you first take away her first health bar, she disappears. Wait near the back area here. And she usually appears in this spot. If you can hit her a few times, you can stop the first set of illusions. And get some free hits in too. Teach the old woman the meaning of ninja abilities, ninja quickness. This strategy works a lot better. Stay in her face. Keep up the pressure. She's not used to this kind of insolence. Don't give her a chance to breathe the old bag. Straight in her face. Jump about when she does to confuse. Eventually she will summon forth. You can keep fighting her if you've got her posture bar up pretty high. But it's dangerous. As you'll see here. Luckily though we can rise again. Probably best to just run away and avoid the ghouls. And then hide behind a pillar, which he didn't do too successfully there, but you can do it better than him. And again, keep up that pressure. Her posture bar is almost fully pwned. Make sure the meaning of quickness. Once you finally get her, the satisfaction will be unsurpassed. As you'll hear from Throthgar now as he triumphs. No! Shake! Shake! Yay! Shake! Never forgive you, woman!
that's how to get her. Defeating Lady Butterfly gives you another memory to strengthen your attack. Hopefully this guide was useful to you. Subscribe for more Sekiro tips and secrets. And click the link at the end or in the description for an Angry Rage Let's Play from the footage you just saw. And remember, a sued ninja will kill you and your lawyers. Woo! Son of a bitch! That killed me! What the fuck?! Will we resurrect? Rise from your grave. What the fuck?! And then it kills you again anyway!